First, uh, obviously, uh, the big uh, elephant, or should I say Russian bear in the room, is the invasion of Ukraine. Uh, let's go to our, our new guest, Mr. Rohozinski. Perhaps you can tell us what your take is uh, at this particular moment in time on the invasion. Well, look, I, I think we have to recognize one thing right away. There's the world before the 24th of February 2022, and there's a world after. Uh, Putin's decision to invade, although telegraphed, probably the most telegraphed invasion in our lifetime anyway, um, indicates a sharp break uh, with any possibility uh, to negotiate with Europe over a new security agreement that would in any way encompass accepting Ukraine as an independent and sovereign country. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a lot of things in that statement. And one thing I think that I would state right off the bat that even with its enormous military presence and the might that it's brought to bear, it's pretty clear that in the first five days of this invasion, Putin has not achieved the objectives that he wanted. And by not achieving the objectives that he wanted, which was a political and military, decisive military victory over the Ukrainians, he's opened up vulnerabilities, both for himself at home, as well as for the international community which now sits on the precipice of a potential even use of nuclear weapons, something we, which wouldn't, we would have never conscient even a month ago. Uh, Joe Oliver, uh, you've seen a lot of crises in your time uh, as a federal cabinet minister. What's your take on everything? Well, this crisis is of course very, very different uh, uh, because of the, the, the military and security uh, implications. And, uh, you know, it's a humanitarian crisis as well as a, a geopolitical uh, one. And my concern is that because uh, Vladimir Putin has not achieved uh, his, his immediate objectives, and, and as a result, after I think three days, got rid of his chief of defense staff, um, he can't afford uh, to be seen to be losing. And uh, to win, uh, I guess he feels he's got to batter the, uh, the Ukrainians into some degree of, of submission. I think uh, unless he, he succeeds militarily, He's not going to achieve his ultimate objective of regime change and, and installing a, a puppet uh, government uh, in Kiev, uh, but he, he, he has to come out looking or at least pretending uh, that he's a, he's a winner, and it may be uh, he's, going to, uh, he's going to insist at least on the statelet, uh, uh, the statelets on the, on the east coast and some commitment uh, perhaps not to to, to, to apply to, to join uh, NATO. And Gary Marr, you've got the last word on the first question. What's your take? Well, I think uh, the one thing that I take away from all of this is that it really focuses countries on the importance of uh, energy security and national security that comes from energy security. And I think that for a decade or more, uh, this seemed like a bit of an old fashioned idea to talk about energy security. and. Uh, as instead of talking about having resiliency in your energy supply, um, instead people have been talking about the decarbonization um, uh, of, uh, of energy. And, and as a result, <clears throat> there will be people who will uh, you know, respond uh, differently. There will be a group of people that say, well, we have to have fossil fuels. So they'll say, drill, baby, drill. Mm. Uh, there will be others that say, we have to move forward on renewable resources. And so uh, get rid of uh, fossil fuels and focus only on green energies. And then there will be another group that um, perhaps will take the middle road where they'll say, it's important to deal with um, uh, fossil fuels, continue to use them, uh, but make sure that we deal with the emissions right. because energy is not the problem, it's emissions that are the problem. And so um, there will be three, at least three different sort of policy perspectives on how we move forward on energy. We're going to have to uh, leave it at that uh, for the first segment. Uh, gentlemen, we'll be back uh, right after this break. So please stay with us.